do some more factoring. Uh, we've looked at factoring something with two terms that was perfect squares in each of those terms and a minus sign in between. We called that the difference of squares. I'd like to focus on factoring something with two terms again, but it's going to be perfect cubes instead of perfect squares. And it can be the sum or it can be the difference of. So the focus here is factoring the sum and difference of cubes. I'm going to come to this in a minute. These two formulas need to be memorized if you're going to be able to factor a sum or difference of cubes. Let's come over here to the left for a minute. Mathematicians saw this binomial, a plus b, times this first term squared minus those two values, their product, plus this last term squared. They found it to be, when they multiplied by distributing, so this a times a squared is a cubed, and a times a minus ab is a minus a squared b, and then finally, a times b squared is ab squared. And then, of course, they had to take b times a squared, b times a squared, positive. I'm going to put it right underneath here because it's a like term, b times a squared. And then right here, a minus, this positive times this minus, is an a b squared. So it's a minus a b squared. And then finally, the last terms multiplied together, a positive b times a positive b is a positive b to the third power. And when they collected their like terms, it ended up that all they had left was a cubed, those added to be zero, those added to be zero. And then in the very end over here, b cubed. So the product of this binomial times this trinomial always gives you what's called the sum of cubes. These are both cubes. A is cubed, B is cubed. So here it is again, just written again. It says that whenever you have A, an A value cubed plus a B value cubed, it'll always factor into this binomial times this trinomial. And likewise, I could show you this, but I'm not going to take the time, that if you multiply this times this, you get that statement as well. Could I ask you to notice a couple of things? The binomials look alike, but this one right here, the binomial has the same sign, and this one right here, the binomial has the same sign. I'm going to say that they, those signs match one another. So I'm kind of pointing to this one and this one, and that they, maybe I shouldn't put those arrows there, that they match their given problem. So this sign matches that sign. This sign right here is always opposite. I don't know if I can spell that out and have enough space here, but this sign is opposite of that one. Look at this plus sign. It's opposite of that one. And these two signs are always positive. So could I ask you to remember that as you memorize this, that this sign matches. This one's the opposite. This one's positive. And we often spell the word mop that you clean a floor with, M-O-P. Matches, opposite, positive. Right here, look. Matches, opposite, positive. So that, that's going to be a help for you to factor a problem. Now let's go ahead and do, I'm going to leave this up here. Let's do an actual problem. And it's going to be, um, we're going to do a sum of cubes. So first of all, this is what one might look like x cubed. That's easy to see that that's a perfect cube. 64. That's a perfect cube. If you have a graphing calculator, uh, you could hit the, I'm pretty sure it's the math key, and about the fourth or fifth item down is a button you could hit to find the cubed root of 64. That's what you need to find out. Um, I'm just going to jot this down and then I'm going to erase it. The cubed root of 64 is the number 4. That's the value that you would cube to get the number 64. So that's how when working with numbers, you find out what value is um, your A value to go in here and your B value to go in here. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say my A value in this problem is X because I would take the letter X and cube it to get that statement. And my B value in this problem is the number 4 because I would take the number 4 and cube it to get 64. And then I would take this x and this 4 
And I would put it in right here. I'd put in an x plus 4, and then an x squared minus x times 4 plus 4 squared. So keep that formula over there in mind. It is, you know, a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So I'm just recopying it. And so right here, I'm going to put in my x value. Right here, for b, I found out that that's 4. And in factored form, this right here, the binomial will be x plus 4. I'm going to put in this a value again and square it. Then the a value again times the b value, which is 4. And then finally, my b value is 4 in this problem. My b value is 4, and I'm going to square it. And this trinomial needs to be cleaned up, and it needs to look like this. x squared minus 4x plus 16 times this binomial of x plus 4. And if you would multiply that all out, you would get x cubed plus 64. Let's do one more. So let's do a difference of cubes. And I might write this one right down here in a minute. I'm going to give you a second to catch up with me. I'll get rid of this. Get rid of my original problem. The problem we're going to look at is going to be y cubed minus 8. And so when it's a letter, the first term is a letter, i got to look for what letter y if I raised it to the third power would give me y cubed. And then what number, 2, because if I raised it to the third power, I would get that 8. Or you could find the cube root of 8 on your calculator. And you come over here then, and you put in for a and b, you'd put in right here, you'd put in the y. This is always a minus sign for a difference of cubed, so y minus 2. This is my a value. I always kind of look over there. I'll take that and square it, my a value squared. Always a plus sign. Ignore this minus sign. Don't think of that as a negative 2. My a value is y, my b value is 2. And now I want a times b, so y times 2. Or how about 2 times y? And then I want my b value over there, way over there, my b value is 2, and 2 squared is the number 4. So finally, the factored form of this, it was a difference of cubes, is this y minus 2 times this y squared plus 2y plus 4. There's the factored form of y cubed minus 8, because it was the difference of cubes. Let's stop. Uh, we'll get a little bit more challenging ones in the next video clip.